Good evening everyone. Today we are going to make a video on corrosion rate estimation for selection of equipment MOC. Whenever a new process is developed and it is being sent for execution to commercial site, then we are going to check the equipment compatibility with respect to the available chemicals in the process and depending upon the compatibility we are going to map the equipments and the MOC compatibility is going to be the first priority. So whenever we have acidic materials in our process so by default we will be preferring MSCL and whenever you have got certain bases you will be preferring the stainless steel surfaces and whenever we want to handle any kind of pH adjustments from acidic to basic or from basic to acidic in a single equipment then we will prefer the Hastloys why because the Hastloys is going to be having compatibility with both acids and bases and also the advantage with this Hastloys are going to be the thermal conductivity as the thermal conductivity is going to be high any kind of heat transfer operation can be preferably performed in the Hasloy vessels and apart from that whenever you got certain type of organic acids so you can handle those type of organic acids inside the SS vessels also why because organic acids are not going to attack SS vessels until or unless you got certain amount of moisture content in the reaction so the moisture content triggers the attack on the surface so as the moisture content is going to increase automatically the attack on the surface is going to get enhanced and to make you understand better about the compatibility as well as the compositions of these metals so I have collected certain compositions of the various metals so I have collected the stainless steels, hasloy grades as well as some rare MOCs that is Monal 400 as well as Inconal 625 alloys. So the main difference between the stainless steel as well as the hash alloys are going to be the content of nickel as well as molybdenum. As the content of nickel as well and the molybdenum is going to increase, the resistance towards the acidic nature is going to increase. And whenever you don't have any details about the reaction must be H and all, then we should take a copper test and depending upon the copper test results we are going to map equipment and for performing the copper test we are going to select the copper of relevant MOC either it can be SS copper or it can be a Hasloy copper and today we are going to see how to calculate the corrosion rate depending upon the copper test so for doing that initially we need to take certain data like first of all we need to measure the dimensions of the copper like the length, breadth, as well as the thickness. And here I'll be considering few data totally. That is, the length is five centimeter, breadth is five centimeter, and the thickness is five centimeter. The initial weight that I have recorded is one sixty grams. The test duration, let's say, I have taken it for three days. And after exposing for three days, I have again taken out the copper from the reaction mass, and then I have measured the weight. And let's say this is 155 grams. And the density. Of the piece, let's say it is a box 8 gram per centimeter. So these are the inputs required, and then let's consider or let's take the output details. First one is going to be the weight loss. If there is any kind of corrosion, so automatically there will be weight loss. It is going to be the initial weight minus final weight. The units are grams. And the next one is the total surface area. As the copans that you are going to take will take a shape of cuboid. And the formula is 2 into LB 
plus bh so here h is nothing but that s and lh the units are going to be centimeter square and once it is done we are going to calculate the corrosion rate the formula for corrosion rate is weight loss divided by the time so here it is in days multiplied by the density which is in gram per centimeter cube multiplied by the total surface area and here it is in centimeter per day and now I am going to convert this into mm per year to do that I just multiply it with 10 to convert the centimeter into millimeter and then multiply it with 365 why because one year is going to have total uh, 365 days this is going to be mm per year And now coming to the part of interpretation. The first one is range and the next one is the interpretation. And here the range is going to be in mm per year. And first thing is less than 0.25 and the next thing is between 0.25 to 0.75 and the next one is between 0.75 to 1.5 and the next thing is greater than 1.5 the units for range is going to be mm per year let's expand this and coming to interpretation so if the corrosion rate range is less than 0.25 it is completely satisfactory so you can use it and if it is between 0 0.25 to 0 0.75 then we have to use it with caution that means if you are going to use it so you have to select a proper cleaning solvent or cleaning agent so that the stains or the impact can be minimized and if the range is between 0 0.75 to 1.5 then we have to use it only for short exposures and finally if it is greater than 1.5 so it is unsatisfactory that means the attack rate is going to be more so we have to avoid using and now here we bought it is around 13.11 that means it is completely unsatisfactory and we should avoid it so this is how we are going to perform a open test and we are going to estimate the corrosion rate by exposing a metal and one thing that i want to remind is so whenever you are going to perform the proper test so just don't expose the open at only the room temperatures so whatever the reaction conditions or whatever the operating conditions are there so please try to expose the open at the same conditions like let's say you are going to perform the reaction at 80 degrees so in such a case you have to expose the open to the reaction mass at only 80 degrees so that you can get some accurate results okay so this is how we are going to perform the open test and if you like our video please like share and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and if you have any questions so please write us at pharmacalci823 at gmail.com so I will be attaching the sheet in the google drive and I will be sharing you a download link so you can check it in the description of the video so thanks for watching the video